Okay, our last phase of the sports drink assignment is to come up with some kind of marketing material in addition to your label and your bottle that would advertise your drink. So in this case, they didn't give any specific sport that they were trying to focus on. Now some of them will say specific to football or wrestling or something like that. But I thought this one would be a really great design to go with Gabby Douglas and gymnastics. Um, so basically what I created was a billboard. So you could do a t-shirt, you could do the side of a van, you could do a, um, I don't know, a frisbee or just one item that you could use as an extra marketing material to really show off your logo and your label. So this is my kind of my working work in progress and I'm going to show you the steps I did to do this. Now if you're doing something different it doesn't mean that you won't learn anything from this tutorial because there's a lot in here that you might end up using. So what I did to start the billboard is I went file new and I wanted to make it a kind of a billboard size so I started with 11 inches wide by four inches tall. It just kind of fits the, the right proportions. And I'm gonna label it sports drink billboard. And there are many sizes of billboards, so don't feel like you have to do this exact size. So I started out with blank. And the first thing I did was I thought it'd be best to get my logo on there. So I grabbed my logo, slide it over there, and I positioned it up in the upper right hand corner. I kept it nice and big because um, I figured that would be something you'd want your audience to see the whole thing, okay? Um, next thing that I'm going to do, see, it looks like all of those are separate layers. I think I'm going to merge those layers to one because I'm not really going to make any changes to that. just makes it a little easier. Now, in the background, I kind of wanted something really bright and flashy, so I went with that. Um, it's actually a gradient. I'll show you how I did this gradient. So I have the background. Let me get my gradient tool. And I made a custom gradient. To do that, you double click here. And I actually wanted it to be like the strawberry to banana type thing. And so I changed my colors. Remember, you can add buckets. You can take them out. You can change them. You can base them on these. But this is what I came up with. And then I hit OK. Now there actually, besides the regular gradient, which just drags straight across, there are many other options. There could be radial gradient, a pyramid gradient, reflected gradient, and a diamond gradient. So I thought I'd try something totally different. It's gonna go on the background layer. I'm gonna go with this pyramid gradient, and I just slid from that side over to this. And what it does is it gives you this sort of fade out over here. It's supposed to look like a pyramid. I could do it closer to the center, but I kind of liked this drastic dark pink to the yellow and how it fades up to white. So that really worked for me, just like that. So now I'm going to need a bunch of pictures because I did sort of a photo collage here. And um, before I grab all my pictures, let me just get my slogan on there because that's another thing you'll want to put somewhere is your slogan. So I changed to the, a totally different font. I was kind of letting this be the logo font. I'm going to click um, with my T tool and their slogan says... Quick start, long life with Strawbana. So I could use the quotation mark. Some fonts don't have them, but this happens to have them. So I'm gonna go quick start, long life with Strawbana. Quotations again. Um, I do want to change the color. Obviously it's not working, especially in that area. So to change your font color, um, sometimes I highlight it, sometimes I don't, but I'm going to go with just a black so it really stands out. I could leave it just black, but um, I'm going to throw some layer styles on it just to make it kind of emphasized a bit more. So I'm going to go layer, layer style, and I like this combination of a drop shadow and an outer glow, so I'll show you what I mean by that. So drop shadows, remember you can actually make them a little come out or bigger, but when you're black on black, it's kind of just makes it blurry. So I like to put on outer glow. What that does is it makes it kind of a white border, and I think it helps it stand out a little bit. Sometimes I even raise the spread just a bit so there's even more white. And then go back to my drop shadow layer and make the distance just a little bit more. So that's going to be my layer style for my slogan. Okay, so next step is you probably want to make a document 
to gather your pictures of Gabby Douglas or whatever pictures you're going to be using. So I'm going to go File New. I'm going to name it Sports Drink Picks. And I'm going to make it inches. And I'm going to go with 8.5 by 11, 300 resolution. Okay, now let's go get some pictures of Gabby Douglas. And remember, when you're searching for celebrities and such, you can always run into trouble. But we're just going to grab some for this assignment here. And I'm going to go to images, and I'm going to make them large size again so I don't run into those bad resolutions. Um, the first one I want is just, I think, a picture of her face to kind of highlight her. So I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to pull this on to here. So great. That's a nice size. That'll work. And now I'm going to get a couple of her doing her gymnastics moves. So I think I like this one that. Okay, good size. I'm um, going to go back and get just two more. Now remember, you can gather as many as you need, but I just tend to like putting them on a separate document so it doesn't confuse me. I think I'm going to get this one and this one. So I'm going to get this guy, and I would say get them at full size image, but some of these might even be too big. So I'm just going to get there we go. So I've got one, two. I'm going to grab a third image of Gabby Douglas to go on here. This one looks great. Okay. So, and remember, we're not using this to sell a product or to make money, so we're basically borrowing these just for practice purposes here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab the big one here. I'm just going to slide this one over without making any changes. I'm going to make it smaller. But what I want was just like a really nice big picture. She's kind of our spokesperson here. So I'm going to put that right about here. And I'm going to get rid of the white space. So luckily this one's got just plain old white space. Now here's the problem with doing this on this document, I think. I'm going to delete that whole layer. I find that if people do it on that document, you end up with all this extra stuff. So let's fix it here. I'm going to hide all the layers. And I'm going to take this picture and make sure it's fitting on the page so you can see all that white space. And I'm going to delete it here. So basically, I'm preparing my image on this page. Then I'm putting it on my working document. Okay, so there she is, looking good here. Nice big picture. I'm going to put her right down here, kind of like she's saying that, so she's our spokesperson. Now the rest of the background, I'm going to fill with sort of faded out images of her doing her gymnastics. Um, so kind of like this. I have these feathered edged images throughout the background. So to do that, I'm going to go back to this document. I'm done with this picture, and I'm going to show the rest of these. Okay, so I'm going to start with this this one and to select it I'm going to get my um, lasso tool and I changed feathered edge to 45 which is quite a bit but you'll notice that when I select around it I don't even get too close to her I just kind of hover and then when I start to slide it over to the working document I'll put that one away when I start to slide it over my move tool it has that hovering edge to it, which kind of looks neat against the colors, I think. So there's one image, um, and I've got some room to work with this. I'm going to put that up toward the top, go back, Command-D to deselect, get my next image. Actually, I will do this one on top while I'm working on it. So I'm going to get my lasso tool again, keep the same settings, just kind of hover around, try not to get too close to the edges of the picture. And I'm going to pull this one over. Nice. So I'm going to put this one maybe right here, but I'm going to want to make sure I put it behind the text. Sort of like that. And I've got lots of options. I can make these smaller. I can put them in different areas. Just kind of depends on how you place them. Okay, Command D to deselect. Get my last picture and pull this one over. Actually, select it first. Grab around. 
and pull this one out there. Okay, so she's kind of hiding behind. I don't know if this is the best location. It's kind of got a lot going on. You know, I think I'm going to get rid of this entire layer. I don't think I have room for that. Um, I don't want to totally crowd it. In fact, I'll scoot this one way down here. And this one I'll put up a bit like that. And I'm actually going to throw in a picture of my bottle. So let me go back to the bottle right here. And I've merged everything. So now what I can do is just slide my packaging over. And it kind of shows up behind her. But let me just shrink this. It's always nice to show your actual product because say somebody's never heard of this sports drink before, they're not going to know what Stravana is. So we want to show it in all its glory, sort of like that. Okay, so basically I've created a little billboard here. Um, kind of not liking the empty space up here, so I might want to rearrange. Maybe I can scoot her to the left a little bit. Um, maybe I want to rotate the bottle. Um, I don't know if I like that. So you can really play with it and create your marketing item to go with your other pieces.